Hello, Oracles. Oracle Tim here from Oracle Investments. Well, what I've noticed today in the stock market is we're kind of in a holding pattern. And I believe now is the time to gather yourself some cash. Uh, if you look around, there's a lot of funds out there. And what a lot of funds do this time of year is they build up their cash and they sit there. And some funds will actually sell off everything that they've got. And then they will reset at the first of the year. I was listening to an interview with Ross Gerber today where he discussed that. And he discussed uh, David Tepper, one of the greatest traders that he knows, does just that. You know, at the end of the year, he will sell things off reset himself and look for five big winners that he thinks he's going to have for the next year and he'll invest in those and a lot of funds are going to do this as well you know so pay attention to the first couple of weeks of the year and what we're going to see in the trading patterns so you know we're kind of in this holding pattern now may see some ups and downs you know we have seen it but it's very low volume at the moment so when the first of the year comes around a lot of these funds are going to be buying what they want to hold for the rest of the year and regardless of if it goes up and down, these guys will buy in and they hold it for the year because in holding it for the year, they'll end up paying less in taxes. So that's what a lot of them do. And so now what we need to do on our end as retailers, because we don't have the kind of funds that they have to be able to move the market, is prepare ourselves for that. So if you're sitting in a place right now where you have no cash sitting around, find some. Take some losses in some stocks that maybe have been beaten down for the year. You know, take a look at those and say, you know what, would that cash do better elsewhere? It's okay. Everybody takes losses. It happens. Maybe you've got some gains on the year that you need to offset. Take the losses, offset those taxes. You know, it's called tax harvesting. That's what the funds do. That's what big money does is to offset those taxes. Because if you just keep that money in dead stocks, it's not going to do you any good. So take those losses and then figure out what you think is going to do well for the next year. And if you don't know, then just wait. Wait for those first couple of weeks. And even if you don't get in at the bottom, because getting in at the bottom is nearly impossible, it's okay, because it, it's, it's a long year. A lot can happen over the course of the year. So just take a look at those big movers that you see early in the year, you know, and, and pick some that you think are going to be those winners. And some of the things I look at are trends. Like for instance, in 2021, EVs were a huge trend. We've started to taper off now coming towards the end of the year. Will that trend rebound and come back again in 2022? I don't know. I know for me, Tesla, I do see a potential at least a 2x over the next year. Could there be stocks that do better than that? Absolutely. But Tesla is one that I'm holding long term. So I'm not selling any Tesla. I'm actually going to be adding some. I do feel a bit of this dip coming on in the next couple of weeks. So if that does happen, then I will be ready for it to invest more into Tesla. Other areas that have been beaten down quite a bit over the last year and most recently have been fintech and small caps. Part of me wonders if the small caps have been beaten down so much that the big money is going to take their cash, which they've been holding in Apple's and Microsoft's, and they're going to take it out of those funds right there and dump it into the small caps, boost them way up. Maybe it's a short term play to get themselves some money. Um, and build up capital for later on, who knows? Part of me wonders if that's going to happen. I don't know if I want to take that risk, but if I see that movement coming in the beginning of the year, maybe I'll jump on board a little bit. I have to see and play that out, and I'll keep you guys posted as to what I'm doing and how I see it going along the way then. You know, and I remember a few months ago, everybody was saying 2022 is going to be the year of crypto. So maybe a lot of the money that's sitting out there is going to go into crypto. Let me know in the comments below if you own any crypto yourself. Personally, I own Bitcoin, Ethereum, Dogecoin, and a bunch of other little ones. Cardano is another one that I have a significant amount of money in. So those are my big four with a couple of other smatterings of like gamble plays, we'll call them, hoping that maybe they'll take a huge run up. Um, yes, I am part of the Shiba army. Got a very little bit there, but you know, maybe crypto does take off this year. And if that's the case, you can look into Riot Blockchain, Marathon, you know, maybe you can get into Hot 8. So these are some of the stocks that take a look at if crypto does run. And speaking of fintech, sounds like SoFi uh, could potentially, um, there's talks of it maybe getting bought out by a big bank. Don't know. Could be just rumor, could just be, 
you know, chatter going on that means absolutely nothing. I've been invested in SoFi since it was a SPAC as IPOE. And for me, I was gonna play it long term, but honestly, I don't like to get attached to anything that I wouldn't be willing to let go of. Tesla's really the only one I'm really clinging on to, but anything else I'm totally willing to sell. So if SoFi is gonna be getting bought out by somebody and their stock price is gonna skyrocket, I will totally take my profits on that and move it elsewhere. And you know, with the inflation still being a little uncertain, the Fed talking about raising rates three times this year, you know, we kind of have clarity there, but the first six months might be volatile until we get a little more clarity on is inflation truly going to be transitory but delayed? Is inflation going to be sticking around? Are the rates getting raised going to actually fix inflation? So many uncertain things going on, so the first six months might be a little bit volatile. And if that's the case, you know exactly where to go to hear the calming voice to help talk you guys through all of the emotions that you're gonna go through when things are gonna be going red, green, red, green, and maybe deeper red. I will be your calming voice to talk you through it all. Don't worry, we'll be fine. And I will bring you the reality because if we're getting to a point where some of these stocks are getting beat down and are might not come back, maybe it's time to cut them loose. So either way, I will be here for you guys to help talk you through it. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but you know, I can help you think things out, ask the questions you need to ask yourself to help you make the right decisions for your own investing. So some tips I have for you guys that I do for myself, again, not a financial advisor, is save yourself five to 10% of your portfolio in cash. Have yourselves a cash play, like an Apple, a Google, a Microsoft, something that is a slow moving grower, something that you can put your cash into and it's not gonna do much but grow a little bit and you can use it elsewhere. So don't forget, inflation is actually making your cash worth less. And then just be ready for anything. Nobody knows what is going to happen to the market. Nobody knows when black swan events are gonna come out of nowhere. Most of us as retail investors do what we can to just try and track the stock market. And if you get swept up in the moves that big money is making, you're gonna end up buying when it's high and selling when it's low. So get yourself prepared to be able to handle anything going forward by having those cash reserves put aside. So this way, you're not trying to you know, run and struggle high and low to make yourself some money. You'll have it ready. So when the market goes red, you can invest. When the market goes green, you can take your profits. You can play the game just like big money does. And I don't know what the market is going to do. For me, I listen to the people on the news. I listen to other YouTubers on there. I listen to many of you in my, my comments, you know, discussing the different strategies and different things that you guys are hearing. And I try to share them on here. And you know, we can kind of get a feel for what's gonna happen. Nobody truly knows. So all I know is that if you're gonna be in something long-term, dollar cost average. If you wanna be ready to do a little bit of trading here and there, be prepared with cash reserves and some cash play stocks. Let me know in the comments below, are you prepared for a dip that may be coming in the beginning of the year? Do you have cash reserves? Do you have a cash play that you can pull money out of to be able to invest in some of these dips? What is your top five? What five stocks do you think are going to run the most in 2022? What sectors do you think are gonna take off and do you think 2022 is going to be the year of crypto? Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate all your support and feedback. If you have not subscribed, please do so down below. Sign yourself up for notifications. Follow me on Twitter at OracleTim1. I will give all the updates that I have uh, as quickly as I can there. If I do any trades, I will also share them on Twitter. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you. Have a great one.